翼141号山形新庄行きとなりますご見学や写真撮影などは黄色い展示ブロックの内側の We finally checked in into our hotel room here at Kusatsu Onsen and Onsen is a hot springs area where the water is distributed to the different hotels and traditional inns uh, for the guests to bathe. This is a combination between the ryokan which is a traditional stay where they have tatami floors and futons you know the mattresses that they roll out on the floor but we have a mix because we have this amazing big western beds here we have the TV area and a heater. We saw lots of snow on our way here, so maybe it gets cold during the night. And here we have an area for storing uh, luggage, which is really spacious and is good because we can open our luggages and put some of our clothes. A big, big window. I don't think you'll be able to see anything now, but I'll just insert the views from morning. But it gets a lot of natural light obviously we have microwave which you don't always get uh, then a kettle you know some storage here this is the area to you know brush your hair wash your teeth we don't have a shower or a bathtub inside of the room it's a very standard traditional Japanese toilet Per night, we are paying um, $300, around $300, so it's not very cheap, but I think so far the facilities, the building is really nice. On the same floor with us, there are two onsens, one for men and one for women, so me and Eugene will have to go separately. When in the onsen, you don't wear any clothes, it's completely naked, you just have one towel um, on the top of your head to cover yourself up when you go out of the onsen but we can rent um, a private uh, a bath onsen on the lower floor and this is available for uh, 3200 Japanese yen for 45 minutes.
So while you are on the premises and when you are outside, you can wear this amazingly beautiful yukata. The uh, ryokan encourages you to wear the stuff outside. I think it's sort of um, uh, advertisement when you walk on the street dressed like this. This is both for men and women, which for us Westerners is a little bit strange because this seems like a lady's bag. It's no exaggeration to say that Japan is the world's number one country for hot springs and Japanese people certainly do love their onsens. Overall, in the whole country there are 2,983 onsen towns. So you might be asking yourself, why did we choose Kusatsu Onsen? Well, because of this. This is the Iwatake Inn and it's one of those distinctive features that truly really differentiates this onsen from all the other onsens in Japan. Basically, it's a hot water field, which means that the hot water bubbles up there at a temperature of 80 degrees, and then it goes through the wooden conduits to the different ryokans and public baths. Obviously, it drops in temperature a couple of degrees, but it's still very, very hot for people to use. And the thing that they invented here um, in Kusatsu Onsen is a ritual called yumomi. Basically, when you cool down the water so that you don't have to dissolve it with cold water that would dilute the medicinal properties of the water. And we will see this a little bit later. I think it's even more beautiful during the night. So if you have the chance, definitely stay here overnight to see how it's lit beautifully and how the steam comes up at night because it's very different from this. <laughs> One of the main attractions here is the Yumomi ritual. You will see the signs everywhere. A ritual in which they uh, cool the water in the onsen and every day they have three time slots in the morning and three time slots in the afternoon when you can participate. We are gonna go at the uh, 3.30 uh, p.m. time and at three they start selling the tickets. <laughs>
<laughs> it's not only the onsen bath inside of your hotel but there are also plenty of these open food baths where anybody can come for free soak their feet into the healing sulfuric water and gain some health <laughs> Thank you. 